Yeah, so basically, uh, in short, um, my ranking dropped from 15 to 50 this month. Uh, basically because I had foot surgery in November. Uh, I had a bone spur in my left foot and uh, they got rid of it uh, with the surgery. Did three or four months of uh, rehabbing. And uh, yeah, it was a, it was a big, a big struggle, man. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's tough to, to get back, you know, even if physically everything is all right again, then to, to get used to the pace again, to, to anticipate quickly, to, uh, to be totally injury free after that, it's uh, it's very difficult, you know, because often one injury affects another one, affects another one, you know. So, uh, but uh, I did realize that, <coughs> yeah, when I sat at home for four months, uh, you start to realize a few things: how how fortunate you are uh, traveling around the world, uh, hitting a little black ball against the wall, uh, which is fantastic, you know. So it's, it's sort of bizarrely enough it uh, it motivated me it, uh, i really got a really big uh, inspiration motivation out of it um yeah i've uh, i have a goal and my goal is to make a comeback into the top 10 in the world in the next uh, two to three years uh that's a very high goal it's going to be very difficult but uh before I got injured, uh, I actually think I reached a level where I, I was really playing well. Tactically, I was understanding more and more about the game. Technically, I was getting better. I was, I was fast. I was mentally in good shape, you know. And um, I, feel, I feel like I still have my uh, best squash in me, you know. Um, I'm more experienced than most of the players uh, on the tour. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna not be too hard on myself. I'm gonna take it step by step again. You know, uh, the first part is getting the body uh, totally uh, sorted out, and uh, yeah, also uh, enjoying uh, playing. You know, enjoying being competitive and um, enjoying getting the most out of uh, myself. So uh, apart from the uh, injury side of things, the the physical side of things. Um, I had sort of another situation uh, I had to deal with and uh, that is like my whole career I've been funded by the Dutch Olympic uh, Committee uh, funding which was a massive help to, uh, to, uh, to do what I've been able to do to travel around the world to play tournaments um, and the moment I got injured and my ranking uh, dropped they actually uh, made the criteria uh, more difficult uh, in order to keep my funding. Uh, so I always used to be, had to be top 16 in the world to get my funding. And now suddenly they say, okay, uh, well, you've been injured, your ranking dropped down, but uh, yeah, we want you to be uh, top eight in the world. So yeah, this is, this is uh, something which is almost impossible to do. Um, and yeah, w without without uh, this funding, it's nearly impossible to uh, to 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 do what I do, you know, to travel around the world to play PSA. So um, I decided that uh, I don't want to quit after an injury. I don't want to quit because of the the Dutch Olympic Committee makes it more difficult. They don't help me out in uh, times of uh, need. They actually make it more difficult for me. You know, I, I mean. This is not the way I want to finish my career. So I decided to, uh, to start a crowdfunding campaign um, and uh, yeah, to tell my story uh, to as many people as possible and uh, to tell them my goals, also to tell them uh, my reasons for uh, doing it, you know, to basically uh, get the most out of uh, <laughs> a young body, which you only have. <laughs> Uh, for so many years in your life um, and that I want to finish my career on my own terms, you know, and uh, want to really give it uh, one more uh, big push and uh, the fact that I, I believe that I haven't really uh, shown my best squash yet, you know, it's still in me, uh, it needs to come out.